But as you can see, it went ahead and it downloaded um, a bunch of text from a URL. And that was pretty easy to do there. I'm going to quit that. All right. So it was only three lines of code. And uh, it's pretty, pretty easy to do. But the thing is, this took me a heck of a long time to figure out that you could do it this way. Now, I have to go on a rant here, and it may go into work unsafe territory. I may end up cursing a little bit. But the, um, the people on the Apple developer forums, when I asked them how to do this, were complete assholes to me. So um, especially this guy, his name is Orange K. If you find him on the boards, please torment him for me because... Um, as you can see, once you figure out what to do, it's not difficult. But finding out the fact that you could embed this stuff inside this URL was uh, was pretty crazy. And um, uh, you know, going through the documentation, it doesn't show you how to do this. But as you can see, once you figure it out, it's pretty easy to do. And there's no reason for the people on the forums to be that mean to you and that vicious. And uh, that's why I'm creating these tutorials so that you people out there won't have to deal with the uh, the uh, assholes on the uh, iPhone developer forum because they're they're really elitist and and uh, there's no reason for people to treat people who don't have information this way because this is not easy stuff actually all right so rant is is done with so now I'm going to show you the upload function which is a little bit more difficult all right so first we're going to take this the contents of the text field we're going backwards now we're going to create the take the text from inside the text field put that into a string object create our URL object and um, using the URL with string again, and then we're going to write that uh, URL object to the file on the server. All right. So the first thing is to get the contents of the text field into a string. So we need to create a string and a string, and uh, I'm going to call it. Uh, okay. Now I will call it my string again. All these are local. So we don't have to worry about the my string object from here interfering with the my string object from this function because they're inside of different functions. All right, and uh, I'm going to make that equal to the text view dot text. All right. Okay. The next thing we need to do is create an ns URL again, and we'll call this one URL URL again, and ns URL. Oops. Oops, I forgot my bracket here. I need to put this inside of a bracket. And uh, URL with string again. And the same thing as before. We will we'll do HTTP colon slash slash uh, username password at my server. Oops, well, or your server.com, for example. All right. Oh, I'm sorry. Nope, that's that's wrong. Strike that. Reverse it. FTP this time. Okay. HTTP you can use for downloading. In this one, you'll have to use um, FTP slash slash username colon password at and then of course the rest of your uh, path to your item there. All right. We've got that. It's uh, it's hard to keep looking over there. All right, so you may get when you're writing using FTP, you may get an error, and you have to catch that error message. So we have to create an error object, NS error, error. All right. So now we're going to create a a boolean function, one for catching the success of our attempt to write to the server, and a uh, another one to catch the potential failure of doing that. So we'll write bool for boolean. We'll call this uh, variable OK equals. And we'll say my string, the string object. And then write to URL. And uh, then we will give it the URL object. And as you can see, it will start bringing in these options here. Atomically, we're going to say uh, no. Encoding. Now this has to be uh, ns utf8 string enco string encoding, all right. And the rest of it should be error, the error message. And uh, we're going to say and error, all right. Okay. 
Now we have to catch the eventuality that things did not work. If not okay, if our Boolean uh, came back wrong, then we will just log an error to the log, ns log, and that would be at sign for a, a string error writing to file at and then I don't know if I've brought this up in other tutorials but in order to include other data inside of a string for example uh, if you want to access a variable inside of your string uh, for example an integer would be percent D and an object would be percent at sign oops percent at sign all right, so we're going to pass an object and then new line and then another object because that's what this error message will give us. And then colon, or I'm sorry, comma, the URL and comma, and then we'll put the error message object localized failure reason, all right? Oops. And that should work out. Let's build it. Okay, and we succeeded. All right, so it's pretty easy, actually. Um, again, let me drag this over here so you can see it better. I'm going to put the source code up on my website. Uh, I was not able to do this. I thought I would just go ahead and put the source code into comments into the... Uh, uh, text field uh, on YouTube, but of course I forgot that you can't put that many characters into uh, one comment. So the upload function is a little bit more difficult, but not very much so. So you create a string object, and in this case I'm creating it using the, the text that's in that text view. Create a URL object using the URL with string uh, method. I'm passing it FTP colon slash slash username colon password at, and then the rest of your uh, um, URL to the text. I create an error object. We create a boolean object equals to my string space write to URL colon the URL atomically colon no encoding colon NSUTF8 string coding. Remember I told you you had to use that UTF string encoding, uh, UTF8 string coding. And then error colon and the error. Okay, so and then we would just create a uh, as a warning to ourselves we would create a if not okay and then just log the error message 